Okay, we'll begin. My name is Greg Slack. I'm the Media Relations Officer for the Hamilton Police Service. I'm filling in for Debbie McGreal, who's off right now. Um, as you know, we are here today in relation to the missing person case involving Timothy Bozma. He went missing this past Monday on May the 6th in um, the Ancaster area. The purpose for this media uh, briefing today is for the family to come forward and speak to you in uh, one mass motion to get information out to everybody, and we're here for that purpose. So today we are, um, have Charlene Bozma, the wife of Timothy Bozma speaking, as well her brother, his brother-in-law, Chris Nordham. So I'm first going to call upon Chris Nordham to speak. Chris? Thank you for coming. Um, as the search continues for uh, Tim Bosma, on behalf of the family, we want to say a few words. Tim is a loving husband and a great father to a two-year-old girl. He is an amazing uncle to his nieces and nephews. He is always the first to laugh and the last to get upset. I just want to say thank you to all of our friends and family. The support you have given us at this time has been amazing. Words do not express the amount of support the family has received from Facebook messages, texts, emails, and phone calls. Thank you so much. To everyone who is listening and watching, please help. Help us look for Tim Bosma and his truck. You'll find posters uh, that you'll find on this website uh, hang everywhere. We have it plastered all the way through Hamilton and even into Toronto. If you do not see one of these posters, go to the, uh, w the Facebook event page called Find Tim Bosma and print up the poster and hang it up for us, please. If you see a black Dodge Ram 3500 diesel pickup truck parked anywhere, single axle, there's a lot of information on it on the websites, please write down the plate number, write down the VIN number, call the police and just have them come and take a look at it. They can, they can at least see it and see if it's actually uh, Tim's truck. The VIN number is found on the front driver's side dashboard. You can look through it at the front uh, window sh with the windshield. To those of you who actually have Tim Bosma, please help the family find him. Let us know where he is. Call Crime Shoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. Leave an anonymous voicemail. Say this is the location where he is, where we can find him. Please, we beg you. You do this anonymously, you can help out Tim's family so much right now. Thank you. Charlie? My name is Charlene Bosma, and Tim is my husband. He is my partner and my best friend. He is the love of my life and the father of my child. I would like to thank the media for taking the time to meet us today. The last few days have been very difficult for myself and our families. This does not feel like real life. This only happens on TV and in movies. It does not happen in real life. As you know, I watched my husband drive away just after 9 o'clock on Monday night. He smiled at me and said he'd be right back. And I have not seen him since. You were all aware I saw the two men that took my husband. You've already been provided a description of these two individuals. I ask you, if anyone, if you see anyone that closely matches the description of these men, to please call the police. You've seen pictures of Tim and of his truck, so please, if you see Tim or the truck, please call the police or call 911. Over the last two days, the outpouring of support from family and our friends, our churches, and from the Hamilton community has been beyond overwhelming. 
People have shared the missing persons poster all over Ontario and they continue to do so. We have had so many volunteers helping us and I cannot thank them all personally. But it means so much to me and to our families that these people, some of whom we do not even know, they take time from their lives to help us find him. Our faith in God is keeping us strong and has been getting us through the last few days. We ask the community for their continued support and for their prayers. My husband, Tim, is a loving father to our beautiful two-year-old girl, and she needs her daddy back. His parents need their little boy back. And all of our brothers and sisters want their brother back. We look forward to being able to putting our arms around him again and telling him how much we love him. We hope and we pray that today is the last day of this nightmare. Tim is blonde and has wonderful blue eyes. When he gives a big smile, which he does frequently, he has dimples in his cheeks. He has a dimple in his chin, the same dimple that our daughter has. He loves to tell jokes, and if you ask his nieces and nephews, they will tell you what a huge pest Uncle Timmy is. They are all looking forward to the next big water fight with Uncle Tim. One of the kids the other day said that Uncle Timmy has been stolen. And I cannot describe it better than that. Tim has been stolen from us. Tim's world revolves around our daughter, and I know that she is number one in his mind right now. I ask, and I beg, and I plead to whomever has my husband to please let him go. Please drop him off somewhere or make an anonymous call to the police so we know where to find him. It was just a truck. It is just a truck. You don't need him, but I do. And our daughter needs her daddy back. So please, please let him come home. So we need him to come home. And may God have mercy on you. Okay, so that conclu concludes the briefing for today. That is all. Thank you.